Welcome to our lecture online. Before we get into the details of the navigation message, let's look at the overall structure. It's kind of an interesting structure. Data is sent from all the satellites to the ground receivers, wherever they may be, at 50 bits per second. So it takes a while to get all the information from the satellites to the ground. Now the way that's done is by setting up frames. And it takes a total of 25 frames of data to get all the information across from the satellites to the receiver. Now since each, each frame takes about 30 seconds, well not about 30 seconds, takes exactly 30 seconds, I shouldn't say about, takes exactly 30 seconds, and 25 frames are needed, that means all the information that is sent from the satellites to the receiver takes 12 and a half minutes, and then it repeats. However, it's not that simple. Because then when we drill down, if you look at what's contained within a single frame, there's five subframes. Now the first three subframes, well notice if it takes 30 seconds to send a frame, then it takes six seconds for each of the subframes. So on the minute and on the half minute, every 30 seconds, a frame is sent. And each of those frames contain five subframes. And the first three uh, subframes, they contain information specific for that satellite. And that information is repeated every single time a frame is sent. So this is repeated information that every 30 seconds you get the same information sent. However, things such as clocks and so forth, uh, they will of course progress and that data will then be uh, updated on a regular basis every, 60, every 30 seconds. The last two subframes, well, they contain data of the entire constellation. They contain the Almanac data versus subframe 2 and subframe 3, which contain the ephemeris data. Now, the Almanac data is for the entire constellation, and so it takes a while before all that information is sent, and it can hold information for a, a total of 32 SVs, space vehicles. And so, therefore, we need a total of 25 frames, because these need to be repeated with new data, in such a way that it takes 25 of these subframes to get all the information across. And then that repeats as well. So every 12 and a half minutes, that set of 25 will repeat over and over again, while the first three are essentially repeat in every single frame. Then if we drill a little bit further down, if you look at a single subframe, we then realize that they contain 10 words. Each of the words takes 0.6 seconds to be sent. Now, of course, the what's contained in each word will depend a lot upon which subframe we're talking about. So when we talk about more of the details in the, in, in the next so many videos, we'll go ahead and show you how the words themselves are broken down to contain specific information. And then we realize that each of the words contains a total of, of uh, 30 bits. Now, it takes each bit 20 milliseconds to be sent. That means we have a bit rate of 50 bits per second. And typically, the structure of a word is that the first 24 bits are data bits and the last six bits are parity bits. And parity bits are used to check the accuracy of the data. If it somehow got messed up, we'll be able to tell by checking the parity bits. So the useful data is usually contained in the first 24 and then the last six bits in each of the words is used for parity. Now, um, Again, the 24 data bits will vary a lot when we go from word to word. So, guys, come on, back up here. Go lay down. All right, take it easy. There you go. All right, very good. So let's continue. <laughs> I think I was about done with this before the dogs kind of interrupted us. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, uh, let's review again. So we have... 25 frames to get all the data across. Each frame takes 30 seconds. 25 times 30 is 12 and a half minutes. But the, fr the frames are then subdivided into subframes. The frames are subdivided into subframes. The first three subframes are repeated every single time. So every 30 seconds they're repeated. But the subframes four and five, they're not repeated. It takes 25 sets. And therefore we need to send 25 frames to get all the almanac data sent down from the satellites to the receivers. Then if we drill down again more, for each subframe we have 10 words. What's contained in the words, of course, differs a lot from subframe to subframe. And um, then we can see that each word is divided into 
30 bits, and the, thir and the bits are divided into 24 data bits or useful bits, and then we have the six par parity bits for checking. So that's the general structure of the navigation message, or the navigation data as we call it. Now we're going to drill down in the following videos.